Hello friends, it's been a while, I say it's been a while, been a while since I've been at home chatting to you. So I wanted to share uh, a little experience that I had. So basically I saw my bike in the bike box being, it's basically dropped off the side of the plane, obviously not in the air. Um, and I just wanted to show the effects of it and then also the bike box because I know I get a lot of questions asking about which bike box I use. So let me tell you the little story about it. It wasn't actually coming back from America. It was with my road bike coming back from Mallorca. And yeah, I'm just on the, on the fly, on the plane. And we can see all the bikes being loaded on. I don't know why they were so late coming on. Anyway, they were. Um, so we were just looking out and I was like, oh, my bike box, I can see it. So I sent this little video to one of my friends being like, woohoo, I can see my bikes coming home with me. Cause sometimes it's always that thing of like, are they actually gonna pack the bike? Next thing I see, which I've not got on video, uh, this poor woman and I'm not blaming the woman who dropped it. Um, but yeah, so she basically tried to lift it. The weight was in the weight limit um, for Ryanair. That's who I flew with. Uh, not the biggest fan of right there. They charge extortionate prices for taking a bike anywhere. So if I can, I try not and fly with them. Uh, so I'm not blaming this woman, but Ryanair should have had someone to help her. So basically she's trying to lift my bike box onto the conveyor belt, put it on the, on the plane. And it's probably like three feet off the floor. It was high, like you definitely need two people to lift a, a bike box that high. Anyway, she couldn't do it. She, tr she struggled to do it and everyone on the plane is like washing and being like, oh, cause she was struggling with it for a few minutes. Everyone's like, oh, is she gonna do it? Is she gonna do it? She tries to get it on, fails. And the bike, it was kind of half on. It hit the floor, it hit the, it basically ricocheted twice. So it hit the end once and then, no, it hit, which side? Any basically, it just hit the floor, both sides. And I was just like, oh my God. It made me feel sick. I was like, my bike's in there. And then everyone on the plane was like, Oh, and I'm like, I know, and that's my bike in there. And so I was just like, oh my God, I hope it's okay. Also a tip to do is when you travel with a bike anywhere, when you get back to the airport, when you collect it, before you leave the airport, open the bike box and make sure your bike is okay. Because if anything, any damage has happened, they won't take responsibility after you've left the airport. So always do that. So I opened my bike and I opened the box and I was like, I think the bike's okay. So kind of what I to say from that is the bike box is amazing. I've traveled with, with my bike in this box so many times and I get so many questions about it, like which one I use and seeing firsthand it being literally just dropped twice onto the um, tarmac. I was like, if this, if this saves my bike, I'm gonna just tell everybody about it. It's, I mean, it's always been fine before, but when you actually see it happen, you're like, this thing did its job. This is not sponsored, this is not paid. However, I was I was gifted this bike box back in 2019. It has been on so many flights with my bike since, and recently I've come back from America with it and it's got my gravel bike in it at the minute. Um, so I'm gonna open it up and show you how it works. Um, totally rate it because my favorite thing in the world to do is travel with my bike, um, and just go to amazing places and just explore. And I think, oh, I just love it. I just love it so much. And I think we should all like get exploring, not necessarily on planes, use trains if you want to, but I think getting away on your bike is the best, most fun, most amazing thing that you can do. The bike box, what I like about it, main thing, especially when you travel to America is it's got TSA locks on it. So that when you're traveling, you can just basically, I don't know how it works with, um, security over there but they have to like unlock whatever you've got um, to look in it so because it's got TSA locks on they can just do that easily and yeah they put like a little card in after so that they you know that they've inspected it but with other bike boxes um you don't have you don't always have that not I've seen not that I've seen anyway so um, who I went with she I don't know if she'd borrowed it or whether it was hers it was a bike box Alan that she'd basically there wasn't a lock on it so she just basically zip tied it and I'm like once they clip those zip ties and it gets to the other end, what if you're not around and someone opens it up and takes your bike? I mean, worst case scenario, but it could happen. So I'm just like, I like that it's got um, actual locks on it. The other thing that I like, it's got four wheels. And I've had one that's only got two wheels before as well. And that means you have to like literally lift the weight of it up and drag it through the airport. Not fun if you've got a long way to walk. So yeah, I definitely recommend ones with four wheels. I've also had another bike box that only had wheels that went that way, so they weren't like moving ones. 
I like moving wheels because then you can like dodge people through the airport. Also, the way that it works is to protect it so that it's kind of like molded so that it, I'll show you on the inside, but basically it's, it keeps it from collapsing in. So it's basically just molded um, plastic to like tough, it's really tough plastic um, to keep it, I guess, from crushing. Oh, the other major thing is the handles. So it's actually got like molded inserts on the end so that you can actually lift it quite easily. Maybe not easy if you've got to lift it like three foot like that poor woman was trying to do. Um, but yeah, if you try to like lift it up the stairs here, like if you live in an apartment or you like move it in and out of a, a car that's low down, it's really easy to pick up. I have had friends, I can't remember which brand it was. Maybe it was Sycon, but that had like a strap on it and eventually that strap just snapped off. Um, so my friend's trying to like get it fixed. Yeah, this has lasted. It's like 19, 20, 22, four years. I like to do that on my fingers. Uh, four years um, that I've used it. It's been on multiple trips. It is really scuffed up, but that's kind of the point of it that it is protecting my bike. Oh, it's also got like a little cutout, your tag when you get checked in. Absolutely love this bike box. It is so, so good. Really easy to pack. And it's also really compact. So it'll fit in the back of like pretty much any car that I've been in. Also another good thing, this one actually fits my gravel bike in. So my gravel bike actual frame is small um, and it's got massive tires. And I will show you in a minute one thing that I don't necessarily recommend for this is because I had 2.1 inch tires, the tire, I guess, dimensions are wider than a road bike. And I think the spokes have kind of rubbed the top of my like top tube and just scratched a bit of the paint off. My fault, I should have like covered it with something like with some kind of um, like foam padding, but I didn't. So that's my fault. Uh, the only other thing that I would say about it is if you've got a big frame, I don't know whether it would necessarily fit. I don't think they do with bigger size because my size frame, generally like a 54 or a medium. And I feel like that is, for me, I think that's kind of the limit. I Like a couple of friends have asked to borrow it who are ride bigger frames. I'm like, I don't think they would fit. Um, I mean, try it or ask um, Shopbox to see what size they have. Hope you found that video helpful, useful, and I will see you all next video. Okay, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Also a little tip, I always take my rear mech off and put it in a sock <laughs> just to keep it all safe.